So just a, a brief, so does my manager, um, just a brief overview of, of why buy Lennar. Uh, obviously, uh, new construction gives you peace of mind. Um, these homes come with warranty uh, and the reputation that comes with, um, with buying uh, a Lennar home. The company was founded in 1954. Uh, we've had over a million homes delivered and we're operating in 21 states and 77 markets. Um, so just a brief overview. We also uh, have our own mortgage broker, our own insurance agency, and our own title company. Uh, and everything's included when you buy a Lennar home, and that in extends over to all of those other options that I just mentioned. Um, these are all energy efficient homes. Um, everything is done electronically now. We're even doing um, uh, tour, tour, in other words, self-guided tours of our model homes, all with, uh, with an application on your phone. And so I just wanted to give that brief overview. Uh, I happen to be working at Campo Bello. We're down south on exit nine. Uh, and we have what's called twin homes. And I'll, and I'll switch over to that particular screen one moment. This is Campo Bello. Um, we have 456 twin homes. Uh, all of which have oversized lots, and that's very distinctive of this community. We're about 31% sold. Uh, all of the homes that are in purple have been delivered to customers. All of the homes in red um, have been sold but not delivered. Uh, we're also selling 31 single family homes in this community. Uh, again, all corner lots, all oversized lots. Uh, lot size are 137 by 50 on the single families. And on the twin homes, they're one, uh, they're 25 by 57. So it's over 3,400 square feet. Um, and the prices start at 293,000 up to about 323,000 for a four bedroom. Um, and they all have garage. I mean, it's just an amazing product. I'm gonna switch over to some pictures just so you can see. Um, I mean, we've had an overwhelming demand for this product. It's it's caught a lot of us by surprise, but that's, I guess, a good problem to have. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. uh, hang on a sec. Mm, bear with me one moment. Here we go. So this is an example of one of our twin homes. This is a, actually the smallest home that we sell. It's 1,501 square feet under air. It's a three, two and a half. Um, and, you know, just when you have a staged home, this, this product really sells itself. We're catering to the FHA customer. Uh, so this is a sub $300,000 home. Uh, typically someone who makes $60,000 with a 620 uh, can get into one of these. Um, probably a cash to close of, you know, 15 to $17,000 and their payment will be around $2,100 with everything, uh, you know, that includes HOA, insurance, taxes. Um, I'd love to have you guys come over with your customers. Frankie, uh, let me ask you, um, we're only able to see right now the slide that shows the, uh, the clubhouse and the pool. Oh, you can't see the, these pictures yeah, at all? Yeah, it's not. It's not uh, oh, I'm sorry, one moment. Thank you for telling me. Uh, let me see here. Can you see this now, this picture? No, I can't. I can't see it. Really? I apologize for that. One moment here. Thank you for telling me. Mm -hmm. I see. Bear with me, I apologize, one second. Sorry. I usually do this on my uh, desktop.
Are you able to see anything now? No, I see I see the same picture. Okay, uh, well, then I'll switch to that, that view. That seems to be the one that's working. You're able to see the community map at all? Um, what I see right now is the, um, the clubhouse and the pool. Yeah, okay. Frankie, we see your slide nine. It looks like you just need to tap the down arrow key to advance the slides in the presentation. We see the presentation and then hit the F5 key to make it full screen. So hit F5, yep, and now hit the arrow, hit the arrow key to advance, you know, from one slide to the next. Okay, but if I wanted to show share something else on my screen, that's really what I'm trying to do. Uh, then you're going to have to hide that, um, hide your your uh, PowerPoint, and then show whatever else. You only have one screen. Is it a laptop? Yeah, I have, you have to uh, hide everything else in the tray in the very bottom there, and then show okay. only what you want want us to see. Right, understood. Okay. This is what I wanted to show. There. I think while we're waiting um, to Frankie, one of the questions I think everyone always asks in these is what are the um, commissions that uh, Lennar is paying realtors right now? Lennar is paying 3% uh, commissions uh, with the exception of inventory homes, which typically will be a 2% bonus on top of that. Are you able to see this screen now? Yeah, we can see the map right now. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So this is what I wanted to show you. Um, these homes in purple have been de uh, delivered to two customers. The red ones are under contract. And then we still have all of these homes to be sold. Um, let me switch to here. And Frankie, did we talk about where, where is this community now again? So th this is down south on exit nine, about nine miles north of Homestead. Um, we're just south of Cutler Bay maybe two miles south of uh, Butler Bay. So we're not quite as far away as Homestead is, uh, but the price point is certainly competitive with Homestead. So are you able to see this picture here of this twin home? Yeah. Okay, great. So yeah, this is a very good representation of what the product looks like. Uh, it's the next best thing to having a single family. Every home will have site access to the yard. Um, we've got plenty of parking space in front of the home as well. Um, uh, and then we've got five different floor plans. Um, and they, so, so the least expensive would be 293 right now. So the least expensive is 293 and it ranges from 293 to what? To 320, uh, 323 for the biggest we have, which is a four bedroom, three and a half bath. Um, that's, that would be like 1900 square feet under air. Which would be something like this. Um, any questions, anybody? I missed out a little bit of um, of the meeting. When are they available for um, occupancy? So right now, that's a great question. We're selling. They're going to be delivered between October and November. Um, no, October and November close is what we're focused on right now. In single family for Campo Bello, we're temporarily sold out. There will be another phase and that will be available for next year, the first first or second quarter of next year. Frankie, can you go over a little bit on the commissions again? I mean, you mentioned that it was 3% uh, commission, but on the uh, inventory homes, it was gonna be 2% uh, on top of that. Right, so if we have a home that is um, ready, but unsold, Lennar will often, uh, let's say for example, today is the 5th of June mm -hmm. and you bring a buyer 
and he buys one of these ready to uh, move in homes, as long as it closes in June, for example, this early in the month, they will give a 2% bonus. So you'll end up making 5% on that home. Got it. Okay. Do you have anything available right now for that? In, on, in my communities, we did have them. Unfortunately, they've been sold out of those. They sold very quickly because it's not only that the realtor gets a high commission, but they also tend to have very high incentives for the buyer. Okay, so it's more like a per month basis, right? Like whatever you have available for that month. Right. Yeah. Excellent. And, and Frankie, are they all townhomes or any of them uh, detached single family homes or are they all townhomes? We do have, uh, no, in, in Campo Bello, uh, there's 456 twin homes and 31 single families. So we do have detached single family homes. And then in our silver palms, we're down to the last uh, 10 homes. Those are also single families. Those have no HOA, by the way, at uh, silver palms. So that, that's appealing to a certain type of buyer. All right, so you have single family homes in, in silver palms with no HOA. Now, um, my understanding is also the HOA, it's, uh, it's optional, like because they have the silver palms does have a clubhouse, correct? Yes, so there is a clubhouse at silver palms. It is uh, optional. Um, so if, if you do have a buyer and they wanna use the amenities, the, the cost of using the amenities at Silver Palm is about $957 per year. So it's about $80 a month is what it works out to. Um, but it is optional. So you have a number of buyers that are not interested in HOAs or, or amenities, some do. So right, they have right. that flexibility. Right. So if somebody somebody's looking to buy in the area, they have those two options. They have Campo A or they have Silver Palms. What's the how much is the HOA on Campo Bello? So the HOA in Campo Bello is um, forty five dollars and fifty five cents for the actual HOA, and then you've got a, a ninety four dollar clubhouse uh, charge when it's completed. So between the two, it'll be one hundred and thirty nine dollars a month. Okay, $139 a month. Uh, and you also mentioned that on the twin homes, you have 456 twin homes, but you also have single family homes. How many of those single family homes? And I, I saw uh, one that I went over there with a client. There was the, the big one, right? The corner one. How many yeah, they're all corners. We're going to, I mean, there would be 31 in total. We've sold about half of them. So we're going to have another 16 to 18 homes left. For okay. single family and they'll be delivered in the beginning of the year sometime between february and april is what they're telling me okay and what kind of incentives uh, uh the buyers getting right now from you guys so if we have a, a closing the nar closes out their year november 30th that's their end of the fiscal year so what we've been seeing is that anything that closes between october and november of this year we should be able to cover all their closing costs except their prepaids they will have to cover the prepaids, but we'll cover the closing costs. Hmm. Now, okay. that's not a hard and fast rule because Lenar has, uh, you know, has been adjusting these numbers a little bit. But typically, I should be able to cover um, the closing costs. Closing cost. Got it. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So those are pretty good incentives. So. A typical buyer, let's say for a home that ranges between, or one of those three homes that ranges between 293 to uh, 323. Right. How much you can say that uh, a buyer could come into the table uh, right now and buy a house for this much uh, with those type of incentives? Right, so their total cash to close, including if they do FHA with three and a half percent down, their total cash to close will be in the range of 15 to $17,000 all in. Oh, that is, that is awesome. Yeah, that would be for October, November close. Now we've been selling pretty quick, so we're running out. Um, but, um, you know, it, it all depends on the delivery date. The sooner the delivery, the closer we can get to those numbers. The, the further away the delivery, the lower the, the urgency. Right, right. So either way, I think it's a, it's a great opportunity because with as little as fifteen, seventeen thousand dollars $17,000, you know you can get a brand new home and not even far into uh, the homestead area because exit exit nine is, what street is that? I think that's like what, 240? Uh, 248th Street and 148th. 107th Avenue. 
That's yeah. right. So if you remember, a lot of that area has been developed. Uh, Silver Pond, for example, that was one of yeah. the properties that was developed uh, a few years ago. And now you guys are still, you know, building up on, on Silver Pond. So fifteen to seventeen thousand dollars is pretty much uh, a lot of buyers do qualify for that type of property right now. Especially uh, the fact that the, the um, interest rates are low, and and Lenar is covering for closing costs except for the prepaid. That gives any buyer a lot of buying power to buy yeah. any uh, some of this property. I see some yeah. pictures that you're you're showing there, right? Yeah, this is one of the, this is the twin home with the biggest bedrooms. Um, it's a three bedroom. It's the size of the four bedroom, essentially. But this is for that family that wants bigger spaces. We offer a four bedroom home also, which the rooms are a little smaller. Yeah. Very good, very good. And, and Frankie, do you have any of this material available as unbranded content material that our agents can use for um, their own landing pages and websites and um, Yes, and I, have, uh, I have some unbranded material that I'm happy to share with the group. Absolutely. Okay, so what's the best way for them to get? Should they request uh, directly from you? Do you want to give your contact information or? Sure. Yeah, let me give out my cell number and my email address. You can either text me or email me and I'll get, I'll get this over to you. So my, my cell number is 305-562-2764. And my email address is Frankie, F-R-A-N-K-I-E dot Suarez with a Z at the end at Lenar.com. Are these two-story homes only? On the tw yes, right now everything we have is two-story. We did have a one-story uh, model at um, Silver Pond, but we just sold out of the one-story. So everything we now have is two-story. I have a question here in the chat, uh, Frankie. It's saying how uh, if you can explain the prepaid, what does that consist of? So when you, uh, when you finance a home with a mortgage, the bank likes to establish a reserve in order to, uh, an escrow reserve in order to pay the taxes and the insurance once a year. So depending on when you close, the bank is gonna want a certain reserve put in for that purpose. Um, it's actually in many ways good for the buyer because they don't have to come in with a lump sum in November when the property taxes are due. And it gives the bank peace of mind because they're going to make sure they have the money to pay the taxes. So in terms of fees, we'll cover most of the closing costs. And then the buyer will have to come in with some cash uh, in addition to the down payment to cover their, their prepaids, which is an escrow account in their name. Right. That's pretty much what it is. Okay. Perfect. All right, Frankie. Anything else you want to add, or does anybody else have any other question for Frankie? There's some, there's some customers who have like grants. Uh, does that does that apply with the with the Lenar incentive? Are you are you talking about like NACA or some of these down payment there's programs? Other, yeah, there's other grants. Like you know, I know a couple of banks are giving out grants. Um, as long as it doesn't delay the closing. Okay. Le Lenar really is very strict with regard to the closing date. So if a buyer buys a home and it's going to close October 15th, they really want that buyer to close October 15th. So as long as you don't, those programs don't delay the closing. Sometimes I've heard that they can delay a closing and Lenar will, you know, not, not be very flexible with that. Okay. So they should come in with everything all set. And well, then, I mean, right now it's June 5th. We're selling homes for November. Okay. So they've got some time to prepare. Um, we would really only ask for the down payment initially. If it's an FHA, we would ask for three and a half percent. So they have time uh, to come in with the, with the prepaid money. Um, if it's conventional, we only ask for 5% up front. Okay. So they've got, they've got time. If we're selling for November, well, they've got four or five months to get ready. What about the A loan? Which one, I'm sorry? VA loan, no, veteran? Oh, VA. We do work VA all the time. That's a fantastic program. And um, by the way, these incentives that we've been talking about, uh, they're based on using Lenar's financing and title company. So with regard to VA, for example, we, we do VA loans. I mean, everything is done through the VA, but 
uh, Lennar's uh, mortgage company can handle that. And the beauty of that is that they don't pay a builder fee, um, which in Lennar, in our division, it's 1.75% of the purchase price. That's part of their closing costs. Uh, with VA loans, they don't pay PMI. And if the VA applicant is disabled, they also may not pay a uh, origination fee, a VA uh, fee. So yeah, we VA, handle VA, VA every day. That's called a VA funding fee. Excuse me? That's called a VA funding fee. Correct, VA funding fee, thank you. And Frankie, could you repeat your um, phone number? Again? Sure. It's 305-562-2764. I have another question in the chat, uh, Frankie, and it says if the buyer uses Lenore mortgage financing, what kinds of what kind of points do they charge? Do you know do you know that? Well in terms of in terms of points, that in, at least in my experience, points refers to an uh, interest rate buy down. So we do have interest rate buy down programs with our lender, usually with two points. They could really get a nice reduction in their interest rate. But if they go with a natural rate, they won't be paying any points. So a natural rate, the average, if they go with an average rate based on the FICO score and the uh, debt to income ratio, they wouldn't pay any points. But if the buyer needs help, let's say a buyer doesn't qualify because the, uh, the payment's too high, one of the options is to pay, buy down the interest rate and that'll bring down the payment. And then in that case, we would charge points. Perfect. Yeah. All right, perfect, excellent. All right, Frankie, thank you so much, man. I know you're at the barber shop and I appreciate <laughs> you taking the time to you know, uh, uh, join us today for, for Real Estate Friday and give, you, and give us such valuable information. So just to... Uh, recap your information. Your number is 305-562-2764. And your email is frankie.swatis at lenar.com. Uh, Steve just posted Wonderful. that in the chat. Uh, send, me, send me the unbranded information. I just sent you an email requesting it. So Steve and I can have it as well. You guys yeah. can uh, reach out to Frankie uh, yourself or feel free to send an email to Steve or myself. And we'll be more happy to share the unbranded information to you guys as well. Thank you, Frankie. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for Thank having you. me. Of Thank course, you. Man, of course. So guys, um, I wanna I wanted to talking a little bit. I saw one of his slides. It says the question was, why buy now? And I thought it was really, really interesting. And and the other question I would add it would be, you know, why sell now? So today I wanted to talk to you a little bit. And I'm gonna share my screen here for a second. I kind of put together this little. Uh, PowerPoint uh, presentation so you can follow along with me, but uh, can everybody see it? Yeah, all right, perfect. So um, so for Real Estate Friday, I have put together this information it's called home buyer demand has climbed 54% in six weeks. So after bottoming out in early April, home buyers demand has since climbed 54%. So mortgage applications for home purchases have now achieved a V-shaped recovery and many economists believe that housing market as a whole is now on track to do the same. So according to the data from the Mortgage Banker Association uh, Purchase Index, loan volume of home purchases is currently 9% higher than the same week a year ago. So that tells us that the market is actually in the up version of it. So economists are hopeful that this continued improvement in the housing market could help bolster the economy as a whole. So here are some positive indicators for the housing market. If you see the average USA, uh, US rate for a 30 year fixed mortgage fell to 3.15% this week. That's the lowest ever recorded in the Freddie Mac uh, data. And that goes back five days ago. And I thought that was really interesting. And this low rate should continue to entice buyers. So that's why buyers, there's a lot more buyers out in the market right now. Joel Kahn, the uh, MBA's Associate Vice President of Economic and Industry Forecasting, he revealed that the purchase loan amount has increased steadily in recent weeks and is now at its highest level since mid-March. So we're now starting in June. That means that it's continued increasing. 
In the week ending uh, May 10, newly pending sales across the country were up almost 50% from the same period in April, according to Cedo's April 2020 uh, market report. In some parts of the country, they were even up from the same time last year. So what does that tell us? That tells us that where we're dealing with buyers and sellers and our, our sphere and customer, they, we have to learn this data. We have to know what is going on in our market, in our industry. Why? Because they're going to have a lot of objections, and rightfully so, with everything that's been going on around us. But us as professionals, we need to know how to overcome objections. So in overcome objections, I wanted to talk a little bit about that, and I have put together six objections that we could possibly get from our customers. As states reopen, selling activity, it's likely to rise. But that doesn't mean that everyone will be eager to jump right back and put their homes on the market. So let's talk about how to overcome some of the possible objections to listing after the coronavirus. And that leads me to objection number one. I want to wait to see how the marketing or the market is doing. That's objection number one. There is likely to be a level of uncertainty as all of us emerge from this pandemic. People who lost their jobs may still be trying to find new ones or hoping that their previous employers rehire them. Restaurants and stores that had to shutter during the, uh, this crisis may or may not be able to reopen. So homeowners will feel that, uh, like trep, um, I forgot the word now, but trepid, trepidation, if I said it right, and may not be able to reopen. Now, I want you to wait uh, before making what <clears throat> they assume is a recent situation. So what I'm trying to say is a lot of homeowners, before they go ahead and put the market, uh, the property back on the market, they want to see what, what, what's going on or, or maybe putting that in the, the houses on the market, it might be a risky decision. So how do you respond to that kind of objection? I want to wait to see how the market is doing. So this is how you respond. You will miss out on the hot selling season because that's where we are right now. Regardless of the past or the post pandemic uh, climate, we're still heading into the hot selling season. When most sellers want to make advantage of the warmer weather and an increase in the number of buyers looking to purchase. If sellers wait too long to list, they'll miss out on the first wave of buyers that are eager to find a home now that they can venture outdoors again. If you don't list your home, it won't sell. That's another way of responding to this. There's a saying that goes, Inaction is the enemy of progress. I'll say that again. Inaction is the enemy of progress. And you can explain this to him. Quite simply, if sellers don't put their homes in the market, buyers won't see them and they won't sell. Even if they, if they aren't in a hurry to sell, homeowners have nothing to lose by putting their homes in the market to see if they do. Think about it. And if they are in a hurry to sell, that's even more recent to, lease, to, to list the properties immediately. Waiting could cost homeowners more money than they've ever, they have already lost, especially if their home is currently vacant and they're paying two mortgages. And, and if you go online, if you look for vacant homes and you do your research on this, you're gonna see there's a lot of vacant homes right now. So why don't we reach out to this type of uh, homeowners and see if they will be interested in listing their homes right now and be able to answer their objections like this one. Let's go to objection number two, which is I won't be able to get as much money for my home right now. Unfortunately, you can't expect your prospects to closely follow home pricing trends. That's why you have to educate them and convince them why now is the best time to sell. So how do you respond to that? Well, here's a sample. Check out this home price before and after coronavirus. You can do a screen sharing with them and show them through a Zoom meeting or any other platform you want to use, how you can show them how home prices before and after coronavirus, how they have fluctuated or how they have moved and which direction they're going. Find comparable homes that, that, sold, um, that sold before the pandemic and ones that just sold. Look for homes that sold for similar prices to demonstrate that home prices haven't taken a significant hit in the area. Even if, uh, another response could be, even if you get less for your current home, you'll save money on your next one. 
and think about it. That could be a point of, of negotiation that you could do with your with your client. Like, yeah, it's true. You might be you might get less, but that means you're gonna be able to buy for less as well. So there's a negotiation point there. So if prices do take a more noticeable hit, sellers who are looking to buy a new home can actually benefit from the lower prices. Not to mention low interest rate, as you know. If you're planning to move to a larger home or, or an expensive home, the amount they have saved in their next home could be significantly more than the amount they could have uh, recouped in their own sale in a better market. Another response could be the price you get for your home largely depends on how it's marketed. And this is how you become a superstar. So you provide examples of times uh, seemingly identical homes have sold for more money because they have staged or had better quality photos. Explain how you will specifically market to the right buyers. Show that you're an expert at selling homes for more money and sellers will have more confidence in trusting you to list their home. So this is how you become relevant and you can put to use the, the tools that we've been uh, teaching you week after week Every, every Tuesday and Thursday, how to use the, the tools, how to use the systems, how to become relevant in today's market. So that leads me to objective number three. Seller could say there won't be enough buyers willing to buy my home. So that's, a, that's an objection. So how do you respond to this? Well, this objection is easy to overcome because you can back up your, your response with data, like the figures that we mentioned at the beginning of the, of this, uh, of the slides. So buyers, is how you respond, buyer demand is actually very high right now, and you can back it up in numbers. Before the coronavirus, <clears throat> sorry, before the coronavirus, um, these were an overabundance, or there was an overabundance of buyers uh, demand and not enough homes in the market, lack of inventory. Even if some of those buyers back out due to change uh, financial, circumstances. There will be plenty of uh, buyers left who still want to own a home and take advantage of low interest rates. Low interest rates are, are very good opportunities right now for any buyer. Lean on your, on your lending partners instead of simply giving your, your leads your own predictions or insight about housing market. Uh, give them expert input from real estate mortgage lenders about current market trends. If possible, call up your lending partner when you're, you're meeting with your potential sellers or get them to record videos ahead of time uh, sharing their expertise. So not only will they input, uh, their input will give your sellers confidence in the buyer demand, but it also proves that you're a top-notch team uh, to back you up. So what does that mean? That means that you have to, when you do a Zoom meeting, so you do a, a listing presentation, you can invite uh, your, your lending partner, your uh, a mortgage broker, whoever you're doing finances with, your financials with, invite them over to that meeting as part of your presentation or have them record a video and then you add that as part of your presentation. Plus, your lending partner just uh, gave themselves a big advantage with your potential clients. So if you're trying to do business and, and obviously you wanna use your resources, this gives them also a great advantage to, to use uh, your team. Another, another response could be check out uh, X number of houses that just went under contract in your area. So there's no easier way to overcome this uh, objection than by politely providing it wrong. But show your potential clients all the homes that have gone under contract in the last day, week, or month, depending on the size of your market. So whatever market you're working on, like for example, if you're looking at the Homestead area, North Miami area, Doral, or the Mid Miami section, you can always put any type of data together that you can show them how this is moving forward. So objection number four. I'm still scared to let strangers into my home. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you have had listings that your sellers, this is what they told you. And think of it as an objection. So how do you overcome this? Well, even as restrictions lift uh, and businesses reopen, some people will still be hesitant and, and overcautious about letting people into their home. The key is not to downplay their fears or pretend to be uh, an infectious disease expert. We're not uh, an infectious disease expert. So instead, we need to focus on the right response. You can say something like, we will take extra precautions to make sure your home is safe. One of our agents, for example, uh, has been putting together sanitation kits for her sellers, including gloves, 
disinfectant wipes that can be left in, in the home for showings. She also reassures people that agents must follow a strict code of ethics that won't allow them to bring visibly sick people into other people's home. So this is very important and you can show them how you're doing this. Uh, she actually uh, mentioned that um, she continued doing uh, uh, listing appointments and has been having them since, you know, when she showed them how to, uh, how to send them photos. Like when she's doing the presentation, she asked them, can you send me photos of the property? Be having them send videos of the property, running comparables, uh, sending them the CMA, letting them know that they can meet up through Zoom meetings and then they can do the screen sharing, like something like we're doing right now. And then also that most documents can be signed DocuSign. So they don't even have to leave their home. So we can still get professional photos done and without them having to even be there. So there's ways to work around it to show them and, and attend to their fear. Now, another response will be, I will, I will screen all buyers ahead of time. And this is could become our responsibility and show them that how we're doing this. So most of our agents have been taking extra precautions to put, um, to put our, our sellers at ease. And they've been pre-screening and limiting the number of buyers who go into a home at any single given time. And they're also currently attending all showings. All these precautions may not be necessary after this restriction uh, is lifted, but the point is speak to your prospect about ways to make them feel comfortable enough to move forward and work with you. And that's key, building relationship by answering objections. Objection number five, we are trying to save money and sell for sale by owner or feasible. If you have tried, and a lot of, a lot of you guys know this, if you have uh, tried to list for sale by owners uh, before, you know that you won't convert them using traditional sales tactics. Working with for sale by owners is about building trust and setting yourself apart from dozens, if not hundreds, of other real estate agents. In circumstances like these, it's even more important to be sympathetic and understanding with the homeowner. So we have to take a non-aggressive approach to prove our value to for sale by owners without coming on too strong. So when you do a for sale by owner and you do a presentation, how about this? How about you include the following information somewhere in your presentation. And it reads like this. According to research from the National Association of Realtors, the typical for sale by owner home sold for $200,000 compared to $265,500 uh, uh, for agents assisted home sales. So this number is just examples to make it simple. But, but again, the point is to show them how for sale by owners have sold for X amount of number. And when they are assisted by a real estate agent, how much more an agent can get for their home. So that leads to the final objection. Objection number six. I had my home on the market during the pandemic and it didn't sell. I'm afraid it won't sell again. It's important that the sellers understand the um, coronavirus market isn't a normal market. But you also have to be sympathetic hear all their concerns and help their sellers overcome them. So here's the response. The virus is absolutely to blame for your home not selling last time. I don't want you to miss out on the hot selling season where your home is much more likely to sell. There's a very good chance many of the home, uh, homes expiring during the coronavirus will have sold at any other time. So show them examples of comparable uh, homes that are going on the contract in, in our area and point out all these positive features of the home that buyers will most likely love. Another response could be, I specialize in selling homes that didn't sell before. I will put together a top-notch marketing plan to get your home in front of the most of the most buyers possible. So when you look into, if you have attended some of our, our trainings before, uh, how to be relevant in, through using the tools, social media, or videos, which Steve talks a lot about that. And, and also, if you have attended the training that we have on the relevant realtor, we talked about specifically this, how to be a top-notch marketing. Why should a buyer or seller pick you out of hundreds of thousands of real estate agents? So you have to show them examples, if you have them, of other expired homes you have sold in the past. Show them quality photos, 3D tour options, staging ideas, and anything else that will get them off the fence. So the question is, 
what can you do right now to prepare? Well, while real estate transactions are still restricted in some areas, now is the best time to build a pipeline of listings. Think of this opportunity as your chance to get ahead of other agents who may be waiting out the storm. Many of you guys uh, worked through the Great Recession and came out stronger than ever because you spent time forming valuable relationships that turn into listings, referrals, and repeat business. If you, have, if you didn't went through that in this business, there's a chance that we might go through it again. We don't know, but this is definitely uh, different times so it's very important that you keep that in mind. Building relationships will go a long way and it will help you grow your business. So here's my advice to you guys. Now is the time. Now is the time more than ever to stay top notch, top of mind. Now is the time where you must follow up. Now is the time, I don't want you to go and extend, especially for, People who just started now is the time to stay in contact. If you have any knowledge, send them text messages. Use your social media outlets, DM them, send them messages. Just let them know you're thinking about them. Now is the time to build relationships. This is not the time to be comfortable because I promise you, if you do that six months from now, you will probably won't be in business. So. Take the time to prepare yourself. Take the time to connect with us. Take the time to reach out to your sphere. Reach out to your past leads. Reach out to anybody that might need your help by giving them information as to what is going on right now in the market, how can you help them, and how they can take advantage of opportunities. So stay focused, my friend. Stay hungry. Remember that success is your duty your obligation, and your responsibility. And remember this, it's never about just what business is going on right now, right? Because otherwise, we, we'll, we'll start. It has to be the business that we're doing in three months from now, that you're doing in six months from now. So how's your pipeline today? So focus on that. Focus on your pipeline. Focus on, on growing your sphere tapping in other people's fear to grow your sphere because the time is now and broker nation real estate if you join us at www.brokernation.events there's a list of information of trainings that are coming up every single day monday to friday you know connect with us help other agents help other fellow agents other friends that, are, that might be struggling right now we want everybody to come together. We want everybody to succeed. We want everybody to fill their pipeline. And how do you do that? You do that by spending time on preparing yourself and helping others. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys uh, today. I hope you find it helpful and, and interesting as well. If you have any questions as to that, I also see that Marta Pozo is uh, joining us today. Uh, Marta Pozo, as you know, she's from uh, Nations, uh, title and she's our, our in-house uh, legal. So Martha, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good, Dalen. Uh, thank you and happy Friday to everybody. Uh, you know what? I just want to reiter reiterate how important it is to follow the, you know, the information that you're that you're giving to everybody about being and staying relevant, about being educated and staying informed. The best the best thing that you can bring to your clients is 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 that education and and being a source of value to that relationship you know the question i think everybody needs to ask themselves is do you add value to that relationship what what value do you have to your clients so i think that's that's the most important thing and and i think that you know when when you when you decide to join steve on these trainings and on these, you know, start your week off with this mindset, finish your week off with this mindset. It keeps you relevant, it keeps you educated, and you're just adding more value to the relationship that you have with your clients. So I really, I think Steve does a great job, Armando, Dalen, you do too, uh, in, in keeping your, your, your realtors educated. And let me tell you that the difference between going, having a contract that is 
ex that it's um, from a realtor that is educated and knows their business compared to someone that doesn't know their business or just learning their business, it's immense. It's the difference between closing and maybe not closing. So I, I cannot uh, stress you how important it is to stay educated, stay relevant, and, and be a source of value to those relationships. Uh, that's it. I just wanted to, you know, say that and, and, and just uh, tell you guys that there is good news on the economy uh, front. Uh, I don't know if you saw this morning that instead of losing, uh, I don't know how many, 9 million jobs I think they wanted to lose, the economy has added 3 million jobs. So, you know, we're in a positive, positive uh, environment. Uh, everybody needs to stay positive and uh and and move forward get out there and and hustle because it because this is a time this is a time so uh, if you, any, you're welcome if anybody has any questions i'm always here and uh you can reach me either by email or by my uh office number thank you thank you Marta. and that, that is very true i mean uh, you have to stay your thumb has to stay on, on the pause of what's going on in the market right now and the news and, and trying to provide as much information as you can. Remember, uh, building relationship, it, it's key. And you have to build a relationship because that will go a long time. What's gonna happen in the next three months or six months or a year from now? So whatever you decide on doing today, it's gonna define who you're gonna be in a few months from now. So take advantage of, of the situation, take advantage of the opportunities. And and, and, and I hope you guys are, are, and I know you are because you're staying connected with us. I see a lot of you, a lot of you that are joining us today, week after week, day after day, since, since this whole thing started. And, and I'm super proud of uh, you know, the agents that we have because they have put in a lot of the time and a lot of effort to continue moving forward. So I, I'm proud of the team and I'm proud of everybody that has been joining us uh, day by day on, on this journey uh, that we've been taking. So thank you for that. Uh, that goes to everyone. Steve, you mind talking about what's coming on next week? Uh, I know you did one yesterday that has to do with uh, lead nurturing. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, thanks, Daylon. And um, by the way, I just wanted to make sure, I don't know if Frankie's still on, that uh, I've been monitoring the chat. And there was one question I wanted to make sure that uh, got answered by Jane about brokerage fees. So um, uh, Jane or, or, or Frankie, you guys uh, might want to connect. And I'm not sure if he's still on or not. Uh, but that was a question um, that she had about that. As far as the events, uh, thanks, uh, Daylon and, and Martha. Um, and I would just reiterate what both of them said is to stay connected to your database and stay informed, stay informed of the market, what's going on. Um, I think uh, we go to a lot of effort to keep you guys informed and educated. Um, Martha's always got her finger on the pulse of what's going out there in the real world and, and, and it participates in all these events and lets you guys know. So make sure you tell your friend, your realtor friends and join and um, she always has new information for us. Daylon always has good presentations as you know. And um, I uh, do a lot of training around digital marketing, branding, lead generation and social media on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So um, next Tuesday and Thursday to give you a preview, um, we is by request, we're gonna do um, Google Ads deep dive this one. Uh, on last week we did, and this week we did Google Ads Express. And Daylon, that's like the, um, the the Google Ads Lite. That's like the starter version of it. Um, mm -hmm. And I had a lot of good response on it. In fact, people asked me to do a um, an, an episode about the Google Ads, the regular Google Ads for Google Pro, Google Ad Pros. Um, it's a little more complex, but a lot more detail and a lot more control. You got the, the, the utmost control over how you can control leads coming into your database. So we're gonna go do a deeper dive on that on Tuesday. And that's a follow up from the Google Ads Express uh, yesterday. And then on Thursday, you guys aren't gonna wanna miss it. It's Instagram by request, Instagram marketing for realtors. Instagram marketing for realtors. So look out for that. And then Daylon, um, even you don't know about this, but I got a very special guest the following week. For, he's um, John McMillan is going to give a presentation about video marketing. He's the uh, co-founder and vice president of Viral Marketing. I'm going to put a link in the chat right here. You guys can check this out. 
uh, go, go to getviral.com. And Daylon, that's viral with a Y instead of an I. Y like yo-yo, viral with a Y. And I've been following these guys for a while. I really love what they're doing. They do done for you video marketing to your database. So, you know, I'm very bullish on video marketing. Um, these guys do it for you. And they specialize in doing it for your database. The thing that uh, Daylon, you and, and Armando talk a lot about, staying in touch with your database, with your, your sphere of influence, your people. So this is a way to have it done for you with video to stay in touch. And, and you kind of do it yourself, Daylon, with um, your own phone. But they, they give you a, the scripts. They give you the, the schedule. They edit the videos for you. They post it for you. They roll it out through distribution optimize it. They do all that for you. And um, so John is going to come on next Tuesday, a week from Tuesday, as my special guest and talk about video content marketing to your database. So I'm very excited to, to, to have that. I'm going to be posting all of these later in the afternoon. So make sure you guys check it out at um, brokernation.events. So that's, so that's not this coming Tuesday, the 9th. It's the 16th. Okay. It's the 16th. It's a, week, it's a week from Tuesday. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. awesome. And that's going to be a really good one. You guys are going to want to um, get the recording for that, take some notes. And um, if you go to their website, you'll see they got a 20 page video marketing plan that you can download. So go and check that out. And we're, we're going to be going over that point by point and breaking all that down and unpacking it. Awesome, man. So we have uh, the, the next two weeks are going to be super exciting. Uh, I can't wait. I can't wait for that. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Steve, for, for pointing that out. So if you, it's going to be posted where? Uh, I'll be posting those later this afternoon. And uh, again, that's uh, www.brokernation.events. You guys awesome. should all bookmark that, that landing page. That's where we post all of our latest events. Awesome. Awesome. Great. Awesome, Steve. Thank you so much for that. And, and I want to thank everybody uh, for joining us today for Real Estate Friday. Thank you again. And, and I hope to see you guys next week on Mindset Monday and stay tuned because it's going to be an exciting week and the following week is going to be super amazing too. So stay tuned with us and have a wonderful day. Happy Friday and a great weekend. Thank you guys. Wait for the camera.